Oh, oh, look at oh my goodness. This one's a little. Whoa. Dude, look how cute this baby beaded lizard is. Oh, oh. oh yeah. Whoa. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Oh, Stone, you're crazy. Oh my god. What? That is crazy. Oh my god, look how many tilapia we have here in the pond now. This is ridiculous. What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to my wildlife. I'm currently hanging out by the pond with all my fish. You can see I've got these hordes of tilapia waiting for their food. It's getting kind of chilly tonight, and I had to box up most of the crocodiles already. I just did a tour. I think we're going to go change it up, go down south and go see Stone at Stone's World, and go see Tyler Nolan and see how old the animals are doing. Go hang out with the friends. And of course, I can't forget to say hello to my boys, Camille and Timmy. What's up, Timmy? Oh, what's up, Timmy? What do you got to tell me? Oh, Timmy, that's my ear, my ear, Timmy. Camille, give me a kiss. Ooh, big boy. Too bad I can't fit you guys in the back seat. Should I rent a van? Should I rent a van and take you down to Tyler Nolan's house? Huh? Oh, don't eat my hair. And we can't forget to say hello to my sweet boy, Kevin the King Cobra. What's going on, Kevin? He just ate a nice big python recently, so he's looking thicker than a snicker. Doing really good. Woo, it's okay, buddy. It's okay. Beautiful Malaysian King Cobra, the world's biggest venomous snake how beautiful is he all right kevin i'll see you later i think i wanted to start doing more like vlog type videos just holding the camera like this walking around kind of kind of like tyler nolan style you know what i'm trying to say right here see this drop for drop baby most venomous snake in the world the inland tap hand but yeah i was thinking we should start making these videos more like vlog style so it's more personable i like making them like action episodes but it's also just easier to throw the camera up like this, walk around, and show you guys the kind of life that I'm living. So, let's go live a little bit today. Yo! Well, 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 I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to feel right. Hey, look at all these chickens. What's up, Taylor? Oh, what's up, Ka Oh, hey! What's going on? What's up, man? Not much, I've never met you before, but oh. it's a pleasure to interrupt you during your session <laughs> yes. of tattooing. And, hey, Tyler, how, how you doing? I know I've never met you before, but you seem like a nice guy. You want to you yeah. touch my nub? Uh, of course. <laughs> Kiss it. Kiss. All right, tail catfish, dog. Damn. Don't you got some in your pond? I had, but the damn otter. Oh, the the otter. damn otter. What was your name again? Sam. Sam. The damn otter, Sam. <laughs> wow, you keep fish? I do, yeah. Dude, the arowana is sick. Oh. oh, you got a bird on your shoulder now. Yeah, don't hurt me. I, <laughs> are you friendly? Yeah, she is. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> you want to touch my nub? <laughs> oh. Oh, very nice. We got good one on. Sure we have enough room for all the started. Right? Hey, guys. <laughs> Can you have a tattoo? Gary. He did. I'm gonna go look at the snakes. See you later, Sam. Shh, enjoy. So while he's tattooing, we're gonna see all the snakes are doing. And as you can see, I can still see them, so I, I can be all mischievous and look back and see Sam getting tattooed. Look at that man, he's so handsome. So I haven't been here in a while. We've both been busy, but this is the snake rack that was at my house for a while. We got the South American rattlesnake hanging out. Croptylus dorissus. Oh, the diamondback that used to be in my place. Cranky, cranky rattlesnake. He's been renovating everything. Everything's looking beautiful. We got Kilo hanging out. What's going on, Kilo? Kilo, the leucistic monocled cobra, the future boyfriend for Pearl over at my place. Ooh, he's just hiding away. Check that out. He's got his false water cobras together. It looks like they've been trying to mate. All these false water cobras, lavender false water cobras, I believe. What the hell? When did you get one of these? What? That is so cool. You got a little radiated tortoise. These guys are so awesome. They're from Madagascar. Just gonna stick this in my pocket. He's not gonna know a thing. <laughs> wow, that is such a cool, look how beautiful. That's like living artwork. Oh my God, that is so cute. I love tortoises. I don't have too many tortoises. We have a glop right now. We might get some tortoises like that in the future. That's awesome. Ooh, got the beaded lizard soaking up some water. Enjoying the soak, nice little bathtub for him. My healers do the same thing back at home. What is going on over here? Oh. Check this out, we got the black dragon that was over at my place. I decided to give this one to Tyler as a gift because his black dragons passed away last Christmas, or the last last Christmas, and I thought, 
you would enjoy the Black Dragon a lot more. Oh, this is a new water monitor that he got. I haven't met this guy yet. He's big. He's like three feet long. Beautiful Asian water monitor. They're all in here because it's getting real cold tonight. So he's keeping them toasty so they don't freeze up. He's also got his crocodile monitor hanging out. They see that the crocodile monitor can get almost longer than a Komodo dragon. So they're technically the second longest lizard in the world or the longest lizard in the world. And then of course, Batman and Robin. Love these rattlesnakes. These guys live with me for half a year. Beautiful Eastern Diamondback cane break hybrid. So super toxic snake. And these guys are probably one of the biggest rattlesnakes I've ever worked with. He's literally like seven feet long. He's a beast. With a spicy meatball right there. Oh, mama mia. Rusty just started eating drumsticks. He's looking good, looking thick. Beautiful king cobra. Love this guy. I've known this little king cobra since he was just a little baby, about four feet long. What's up, Rusty? What's up, dude? What's up, dude? What's up, dude? You want to say hello? You want to say hello? What's up? Whoa, okay, sorry, Rusty. <laughs> Rusty's such a cool looking King Cobra. He's so beautiful, look at that. Called Rusty because of that beautiful orange and reddish coloration. Beautiful King Cobra he's been raising for a while now. Love this guy. Ooh, and then look at this. We got the Mang Shang Vipers. These guys are only found in a small mountain range in China. They're one of the biggest vipers in the world. And actually, I have a buddy of mine that just got bit by one of these recently. And what's interesting is there's not much documentation on the bites. Uh, to my knowledge, there's nobody in the United States who's ever been bit by a Mang Shang Viper. And a friend of mine was just bitten recently by one about this size. And his blood literally turned into like water. So it made all of his blood anticoagulant. So it's just real like water-like substance, which is really dangerous because you have cuts. If you uh, have any bleeds anywhere, then you'll profusely bleed out of the wounds. So that's what makes it so dangerous. Heel monsters right here. Beautiful little heel monsters. Gotta love them from the western United States like Arizona, New Mexico, venomous lizard right here in the USA. Well, as Dingo would say, the US of A. Beautiful black and white spitting cobras hanging out, looking beautiful. Ooh, look at you. These guys are super soakers. When I had these guys at my house, they would cover me in venom every time I worked with them. Mine will spit, but not as much as those guys. Let's see, what, and then I think there's something non-venomous in here. <laughs> We're just gonna open it and find out. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, that is sick. There's an indigo snake in there. How awesome is that? Let's see if we can get it out. Ooh, look at that. That is so sick. Oh, that is so sick. Look at this. Beautiful indigo snake. This is the biggest naturally occurring snake in North America, the indigo. They can literally get like 10 plus feet long. And Tyler has special permits to own the Eastern Indigo, which is a federally protected species. So he's got federal permits to actually own these snakes for education. How sick is that? Look at the red throat. Oh, and it's deep in shed too. This guy would be way prettier if he wasn't deep in shed. Look at that. Call an Indigo because of that black coloration. That is so sick. Let me see that face. Beautiful snake. And even though it's non-venomous, these guys are badass snakes. They actually eat venomous reptiles. They'll go into a rattlesnake burrow and just eat the rattlesnake alive. All they have to do is bite down onto the face, suffocate it, and overpower it to eat it. So this guy could actually eat like a four foot rattlesnake, no problem. Beautiful Eastern Indigo. I'm just gonna put that right there. See, Tyler keeps a lot of cool stuff that I don't even think about keeping. I love indigo snakes. Maybe one day we'll get one. Ooh, we got a whole rack of venomous right here. Let's see what we got in here. It says beaded lizard. Oh, look at that. I haven't seen this guy. Oh, what's up, little dude? Little baby beaded lizard. Oh my God, look how cute this little beaded lizard is. Dude, look how cute this baby beaded lizard is. Oh my God. I'm holding him right behind the head because he will try to bite me. As you can see, he's not friendly. These guys are venomous. They will put you through agonizing pain. This is the larger cousin to the Gila monster. So these guys will actually get like three plus feet long. The biggest ones get like four feet. I'm just gonna put them right here. Gonna be real careful about the release because we don't want him to bite us. We don't want to get bit by him. Oh, he's really cranky. Oh, he's so cranky. Don't bite me, please, please, please. Oh. What do we got in here? Oh, look at that. This is his new albino Eastern Diamondback with like a broken up diamond pattern. It's got like no diamonds at all, that's crazy. Dude, that is crazy looking. What a strange morph. So it's albino with no diamonds on the first third. That is wild looking. Whoa, that's crazy. Oh, it looks like he's got another one right here. Dude, what? 
Where is he getting all these albino dime bags? That is so sick. You're gonna give me one of these albino dime bags, boy? I'm taking one of these dime bags with me. Dude, they are so sick. That is so cool, look at that. Like pink. That is so wild. The only thing that could be cooler than that is if they had leucistic Eastern Dimebacks, but albinos are sick. I gotta get myself an albino Eastern Dimeback eventually. Let's see, and ooh, this is crazy. This is a snake that we actually caught in India in a swimming pool, a Russell's Viper, in the top four most responsible for bites in India. Super dangerous snake. It will basically liquefy your insides and make you jello. Just a little baby. They get like four or five feet long. And on rare occasions, close to six feet. We got like a little spitting cobra in here. Oh, what's up, dude? Oh, this is one of the babies that I was taking care of. Look at that. It's getting real big now. He's huge. Woo, what's up, little baby? Then let's see, we got another one in here. What's up, little dude? Hello. Don't spit on me. I'm going to put you away. Oh my goodness. I just looked again at the false water covers and they're ferociously going at it. These guys are intense lovers. Your false water covers are making intense love. Yeah, I know. Yeah, they're, they're, they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. I'm filming it. I'm gonna put it on my, my Patreon. Oh, wow. We love you, Brian Barcheck. What the hell is this? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna leave now. You keep tattooing. Aw. Yeah, give you a little okay. kiss. Ah. Oh, thanks, Sam, be good. Chandler. Be good. <laughs> oh my god, so... I'm sleeping right now, so you gotta be real quiet. No way, let's see this bad boy. What the hell, man? Oh yeah. That is crazy. Oh, man, trying to wake the baby? That is crazy, an albino gaboon viper. Dude. So are you the only one in the U.S. right now that has an albino gaboon? One of two. Oh, wow, that's crazy. That must be like one of the most expensive venomous snakes that exists. Yeah, that's pretty pricey. What are they going for? Uh, I think the visuals are 25 grand. Holy sh**. Yeah. <laughs> this was, uh, does she have food in her? Um, she ate like five days ago. Yeah. Oh my right god. Here. That's the boy. That's the boy? Apollo. Oh nice, so he's gonna get good size on him. He's pretty, Dude. he's pretty big, honestly. I thought he was smaller. Yeah, he's not a tiny little baby. Yeah, and then they get, um, the older that they get, the more the reds and the pinks come out. Like, if you see the adult from them, it's like, yeah. it doesn't even look like that, bro. There are so many reds and pinks and darker colors on them. It's crazy. Bro, that is f***ing wild. That is bite you. Yeah, yeah, it's a bite of them. <laughs> Dude, how happy are you? Ooh. How happy are you that you finally... Super happy. Like, you didn't even think you'd get some like this. Yeah, I don't even mess with them just because I'm just like... I wouldn't either. I wouldn't even do touch not them. I want to piss them off and set them... I don't, you know what I mean? It's like, I just don't feel like stressing out them ever. Bro, that is so wild. Congratulations. Thanks, man. Wow. Yeah, he's real pretty. Probably one of the rarest snakes in the United States. Yeah, he's fucking cool. Probably the rarest. King Apollo. His name's Apollo? Yeah. King Apollo. So good. One of the rarest snakes in all the world, right here at Rider's Ranch. Subscribe, mother. Well, Tyler's busy tattooing. He's going to be tattooing for the next five, six hours. So I'm just going to come back next week and make another vlog hanging out with my boy. Now let's go to Stone's World and go see some crocodiles. And we made it to the next location, Locks Crocs, a.k.a. Stone's World, a.k.a. What are you doing in there, bro? Hey, can you show some Crocs? Let's go. No! Now, for those of you guys who don't know this guy, this is my best friend. Next to Tyler, Stone is my closest friend in the world. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. You hit me in the nose, <laughs> Chuck you. Let's go feed some crap. Let's go. What you got there? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you busted it up. Oh, dude. sorry. <laughs> I just busted. Oh, we got the good old croc chow. Okay. Uh, special diet formulated for crocodilians. Specially special. For those of you who aren't subscribed yet, go to Stone's World on YouTube. Go check right. him out. This is his new crocodile facility. This is phase one. And then he's got even crazier stuff coming in the future. Well, you got your now crocodile over here? Yeah, I got the... Does she like biscuits? Yeah, 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 throw some in there. What's up, baby? Meat, but... You want some biscuits? Oh! Right away, going after the biscuits. Look at that. Beautiful now crocodile. The first croc that you got with your permit, that's over four feet, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, she's climbing. She's ready to go. She'll have you. You go in there and she'll have you. 
careful. She'll get her fingers, she'll get her nose out like to here. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what's up, baby? You need some crop chow? Yeah, I got some. Oh, I wasn't recording the whole time. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> wow, she's so pretty. Look at those eyes like gold crocodiles are so cool everyone knows me as a snake guy but crocodiles are my first love when it comes to animals you gotta love crocs prehistoric beasties where you going mama look how fat that tail is she's healthy yeah she's big she likes raw meat but she's, she's a real croc usually she'll spit this out yeah she doesn't like how dry it is oh there we go oh a little bit of crunch you see how she stopped right when she crunched it She's like, eh, let me go wet it. Yeah, it's better in the water. It's great for training crocs, that's for sure, because it doesn't get them full so quick. Yeah, it's a good supplement, but you don't only want to feed them crocs. Right? Nothing beats real meat. Yeah. Look at you, Toothless. Yeah. Looking big and beautiful. His biggest crocodile here at Locks Crocs. Yeah, he's pretty close to like 10 foot, 11 foot. How's he doing with you? Does he let you hand feed him? Oh, yeah. Oh, we got Blondie sneaking up on us over here. She saw you with the croc chow. Whoa, I just realized there's duckweed everywhere yeah. now. Bro, there's no duckweed at all. Now it's literally Bro, all it's over like this pond. Yeah, duckweed's got a reputation. You put a little bit in a pond, it'll spread real quick. Literally, I was here like a week ago, there's none. But it's good for like the water clarity. He's got all the security you need to keep these crocs from busting out. Who's that? Who's calling you? Ah, don't worry about it. All right, we're inside the crocodile pen. There's four crocodiles total in here that Stone got from Wild Florida. They had extra now crocs they wanted to rehome, and now he's got them all living in this nice big natural enclosure. Beautiful blonde Nile crocodile. She's got great genetics. She's your favorite croc in the group? Oh yeah, her and Lex are my favorite. Dude, dinosaurs. Lex is just pristine looking too. Stone and I grew up working with crocs, and our dream has always been to have our own crocodile, so. This is honestly just living the dream now. Oh, look, look, there's Lex right next to her. Oh, being sneaky. Sexy Lexi. What's just going on? An immaculate, clean looking crocodile. Look at that croc. Nothing like a mouthful of duckweed and croc chow. He would barely come out at first, and now. Yeah, now you're able to just walk up yeah, to him. Yeah, you can walk up to him. You can kind of touch him on the back legs. Dude, he's tolerating it too. He doesn't yeah. seem like he's getting too upset. And when he's eating, you can get really up close. And the cool thing about Toothless is, I mean, he doesn't have any teeth. So if he bites you, still gonna hurt Don't just a lot. break your bones. Don't break your bones. No big but deal. He's really not gonna, you know, rip you up too much. Wow, look at that. Look how cool Freaking dinosaur. Cannot express how cool it is to be able to touch a crocodile. Like, they are living dinosaurs. Cooler than a dinosaur. And there's not many crocodiles you can really just touch like this. Like he's actually pretty chill. Even Blondie you can't touch like this. Oh, he's, now he's looking at us like he's gonna strike. Yeah, it's because I'm touching him right behind the back legs. That's like the most sensitive spot right there. And he's a good breeder. He's known to breed to all three females. So hopefully we'll have a ton of baby Nile crocodiles. All right, you said you have more crocodiles around here? Whoa! Whoa. The reason why I think her and Blondie are related because they have super thick tails. They kind of have a little deformity that was probably yeah, caused- Yeah, dude, this is wild. Through incubation or not really shallow water will make their tails flop off to the side, so. I've seen these guys years ago at their old facility, but I've never seen them up close like this to really get a good look at the tail. Like, that's crazy looking. Yeah, we don't really know too much about her past, but we do know that she's a beautiful animal. And her brother and her dad are the same person, huh? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Surprise attack! Whoa! Whoa! He's nice when he chooses to be. <laughs> Cranky boy, huh? Uh-oh. Oh! What's up, dude? He's a big crocodile. Oh, what are you gonna do? Oh! Stone, you're crazy! You're wild, bro. Stop! Quit <laughs> playing, bro! Trying to job hop a crocodile. You're nuts! I'm just gonna grab his tail. Come back! You're wild, bro. <laughs> so we're over here at Stone's World, his other facility, and he's got a heater set up for this little crocodile because it's dropping down to the 40s tonight. Locked and loaded. Let's see this crocodile. So this crocodile right here is a beautiful hybrid crocodile. A lot of you guys are wondering if Miss Toothy and Aries have ever had babies, and this is actually a five, six-year-old croc that was produced by Miss Toothy and Aries. So you can see what the offspring will look like. Super high yellow crocodile, super pretty. Look at that. That is so awesome. You got this croc from Nace? Oh yeah. Gorgeous. Ooh. And it's a girl. But her name is Carnage. I mean, look at the gold speckling on him. Dude, this crocodile is so beautiful. That is so wild that Miss Toothy and Aries produced this croc. Ooh, Stone has some cranky snakes. Stone's actually got a monocled cobra and a black and white spitter together because he's gonna try and make 
black and white hybrids. hybrids. <laughs> You're wild, bro. She's deep in shed. Yeah, this is just a regular albino. Beautiful albino monocled cobra, deep in shed. It's got like an orange look to it. Woo! And the next snake is actually a banded, oh. snouted cobra. Dude, I can't wait for my banded to look like this. Yeah, and this one's a woo! Whoa. He's a feisty little Mouth guy. open. Oh yeah. Look at that. Super fired up. And I have some of the other siblings and they're super dark, but this guy is just the lightest out of the bunch. That's a he's good looking snake. Growing fast creepy. too. Ooh, African cobra. These guys get big, super, super big. Yeah, Tyler had like a seven footer, it's huge. Yeah, they're known to get up to like eight feet, it's insane. Woo, look at that. What's his name, what's his name? Steve. Oh nice, good name. The next cobra, <laughs> probably looks really familiar to you because you produced it is this little baby. Oh, I didn't have sex with a cobra. <laughs> yeah, how's this little guy doing? He's doing good, man. He's eating like a champ. Man, look at that. Oh, the gold on the back. Super cranky little snake. Oh yeah, and he's just going into shed too. You know snakes, they go through like shed cycles together. So all of my snakes right now are pretty deep in shed. So cute. Yeah, Such a yeah. badass cobra. Nothing beats a monocled cobra. This right here is Crotalus dorissus. Nice. The South American rattlesnake. And I actually have three of these little guys. The OG Squam that Stone's had for quite a while now. Beautiful red bush viper. Look at that. Variable bush viper. Look at the eyes on him. That is such a good looking snake. Then I have a striped pygmy rattlesnake. He was shipped all the way from the UK. Damn. Yeah, he's, he's probably my favorite. Pygmies are just so variable, you know? There's so dude. many different like morphs of pygmies out there. Look at that. Yeah, and he's a little tank, dude. So I'm gonna swap her. This black and white is actually a female, and this is a big male. So they've been together for a few days. He's been off food. Oh, oh look at that. Oh my goodness. And that's how I know he's ready to breed. So a lot of snakes, when they're ready to breed, they'll go off feed. So I'm just gonna swap him from the black and white spitter over to my albino female monitor cobra. And this is probably your most rank cobra that you own, right? Yeah, I mean, when you feed this guy, he'll come out hooded up and he'll literally chase you across the room. So we'll just throw him in there. Uh-oh. Oh! So she's hepatocystic and she's albino. He's checking her out. A lot of these African snakes, when you get them, they're filled with parasites and worms. So we've dewormed and we've medicated both of these Gaboon Vipers to be perfectly healthy. Pretty docile for being a wild snake. So once I get a hand, once I get a, get a, once I get a hand on his tail, I can really just pull him out. You can see he's due for a good soak. The world's longest fangs are in the mouth of that snake. They can get over two inches long. Look how big those horns are. Someone commented, they're like, no, that's a rhino viper. I'm like, no, that's a gaboon viper. But wow. you can see, for a wild snake, for an import, Super, super docile. She's really, really good. And that male has yet to shed. So since I've had him for almost two months now, he hasn't shed. So his true, his true colors really haven't came out, but the female shed a few times since she's been in captivity. She's been here for almost a year, putting on weight. She was really skinny when we got her, but she's sort of like the opposite. He's got super blue hues and she's got super pink hues. Dude, this snake is beautiful. Yeah. And you don't feed these guys too often, right? No, so gaboons have a super slow digestive system. One of the biggest killers of gaboons is overfeeding them. So you only want to feed them once every two to three weeks. But look at the top of her head. She's just like super, super pink and purple. I mean, he, he's got to be close to like 10 years old, you know? Oh yeah. He's as big as they get. Dude, his eyes glow. Oh, that's so crazy. Yeah. All right, we got some dirty work to get done. I'll see you guys on the next one. Make sure you go check out Stone's channel and Stone's World on YouTube. Go check out Tyler's channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay beautiful, stay safe, and most of all, follow your dreams. What do you guys say, Stone? Follow your dreams. And keep it spicy. What are you going to do? Oh, Stone, you're crazy.